and why we need to be responsible and uh, uh, I think we already know and a lot of companies are uh, uh, within Pakistan I am sure there are a lot of, all of us are responsible in certain ways some of the companies are focusing more on the environment some are focusing more on the social side and the community development and different elements of social responsibility Uh, and we all know that we have to be socially responsible or environmentally responsible because we have no other choice. But the only issue what I have seen during the last 15 years since I started working on these uh, uh, social responsibility or responsible business uh, things, we noticed that the, uh, why it has been difficult for the companies to understand and implement uh, uh, responsible business elements because there was too many confusing statements or consuming def definitions of CSR uh, within uh, the country and even within the world. So still uh, we were not able to decide what is real CSR, what is responsible business. So we have tried uh, to actually uh, bring some of the basic elements of uh, corporate social responsibility into one framework uh, and try to help companies to understand how, uh, again, what is their main responsibility, what are the elements they are missing when they try to implement CSR and how it should be done. So very briefly, I'm, I'll show you, please, uh, can you get to the diagram? I think we don't need to go through the details. All people sitting here are pretty much aware of what's happening. Uh, okay, uh, this uh, diagram uh, actually shows the main basic elements of CSR and then it also shows the part we need to take stepwise from perception to preparing ourselves for being responsible like through policies and then actually practicing CSR through shown element uh, things like again it could be uh, reporting it could be any other management uh, implementation processes or tools and then getting into the performance and the third uh, dimension of the cube is the pr progression once you actually implement all these uh, six to uh, uh, elements of CSR, I think you will see that you will start moving through it, progression, progression and start getting profits and gaining financial gains. Okay, so let me just briefly uh, give, tell you what uh, all these um, elements of CSR are. I think uh, there is a misconception among a uh, lot of us that uh, in, uh, being environmentally or socially responsible takes a lot of money and it's uh, actually an expenditure but it's not an expenditure it's an investment and actually uh, we did we have it the thing has been improved then actually it affects improves your financial bottom line so uh, and again the as you can see the two uh, right and the left elements are corporate governance and financial viability a business has no right to exist if it's not profitable and it's not economically viable because business is there to create economic viability so that's one we should not be missing becoming more socially uh, helping the communities or, or whatever we need to understand that it's not how we and where we use our profits it's how we make profits which is important how responsibility we are able to make our profits and uh, for that element governance and management is very important our board of directors our governance body should be well completely aware of what's going on in, in within the company for example a uh, CSR reporting is not a job of a PR uh, PR or communication or any other department every department should be involved uh, the second uh, again, second most uh, important element is principles and values, which includes the corruption and the value systems of a company. Uh, so we, most of the time we miss all these other elements when we are too, focusing too much on the compliance of social and environmental compliance and dis disclosures. And again, disclosure is important. Stakeholder involvement versus uh, is important again stakeholder not stakeholder engagement stakeholder involvement involving your stakeholder to that extent that they are really become part of yourself and consumer and product focus explain that uh, again ethical marketing ethical uh, advertising the product itself should be environmentally friendly and the process through which the uh, the uh, product has developed is also important 
So as uh, you can see, once you are able to integrate all these different elements, which includes that all your departments should be talking to each other while you are trying to say, be a responsible company. Don't ever think that one department can actually lead the CSR. Thing. Once you do that, you can see on the right hand side uh, what kind of progression or what kind of benefits a company can get. And I'm sure now uh, I've seen people, I hear people saying that we are starting to see the benefits of the investment we have done on environmental or social standards or compliances. So then again, there are different frameworks and toolbooks. This is another way of showing how RBI pillars and RBI path moves you towards RBI uh, responsible progression. Uh, can you go to the next diagram? Yeah. So, th okay. And uh, can you just please quickly go to that uh, word file? Uh, I, I just want to give you a little quick review of uh, how, uh, because especially in the context of Pakistan, in the Muslim countries, we keep forgetting that uh, the six elements I'm talking about, these have been mentioned within Quran, when Quran talks about, or the, within Hadith and Sunnah, when they talk about business. And I, as we all know that uh, business is the best occupation of a Muslim because it creates economic and social activity. Uh, you have to go through one by one. Uh, okay. Just I think you should quickly go through this. You can see that corporate government, what Islam in Quran, there are sayings on corporate governance and about uh, the values and principles. Again, there are some uh, things I don't want to repeat and read, read that. I think uh, we don't have the time to go into the details. So please just quickly scroll down. But I just wanted to show that uh, this model was not only based on the Western context, but it was based on the basic Islamic values. So this is not an alien model. This is a model which is developed within Pakistan with, with, the, with the Asian and the Islamic context. Get back to the... And there, and uh, we were talking about the reporting, so there are some very quick um, points. The reporting thing? Okay. What a uh, good reporting requires, and uh, again, I'm sure people who have been uh, developing sustainability reporting needs that. We, it needs a visionary to initiate and accomplish the task. Of course, a little bit of finances. But I think the go good reports and the good reports who can now compete with the international reports, I think, should be research-based. They should have a lot of research. They should have a lot of stakeholder engagement with, uh, and the process. And uh, again, we all know what sustainability report helps in getting us into a wider context. But the most important thing we keep forgetting that uh, the st sustainability reports then act as a management tool for us or mostly for our own internal assessment and internal uh, analysis of the company to do the risk mit mitigations. This is, uh, if you really properly uh, develop your reports, taking the process which is defined in the GRI or uh, through A1000 and other elements, I think that's, that can become a best tool for your management. Oh, sorry, it's repeating. It just go to the di next diagram. So in this diagram, again, it, uh, the most important thing is the involved process. And uh, if your process during the development of the uh, sustainability report is in involves all your stakeholders, the right kind of information and verification of the report, then you are able to create a real good impact. And uh, in the end, don't make uh, these kind of mistakes while you are developing your reports. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Samreen Vahid. Uh, responsible business entity which focuses more on how responsibly it makes profits than where it uses them. With these golden words, I would like to invite Mr. Abdul Rahim Surya, Chairman Subcommittee for Best Corporate Report Awards on 